Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you very much for being an electric. I really appreciate that. Now, I have uh, three pairs of contactors here. And what I want us to look at today is mechanical interlocks. Okay? So, mechanical interlocks, uh, it's a vital mechanism in uh, automation, you know, and uh, as far as, uh, you know, using contactors is concerned. Okay? And... Uh, you can talk about mechanical interlocks, especially if your, you know, your circuit involves two contactors and of which one contact has to run at a time, okay? And uh, one of the things that uh, we have to talk about is circuit like uh, automatic changeover switch, okay? Uh, automatic changeover switch uses, uh, you know, two contactors okay so you need to interlock those uh all right you have you know a couple of forward and reverse uh you know uh star delta you know all those kind of uh circuits need to, to you know need to to have those inter uh, contactors interlocked for you know to avoid you know uh damage and dangers of uh you know a circuit burning out you know because now for if you're like doing a uh, forward and reverse hey okay, imagine uh you're telling this system okay uh you know that forward and reverse we interchange uh those uh two phases okay but now imagine if both contactors have engaged at the same time uh okay uh, star delta contact uh, connects star and in delta at the same time okay uh you know uh supply voltage like uh generator and ac main is coming in at the same time okay you know these kind of systems are good systems but if handled uh poorly you know uh, disasters can really happen so we are looking at these uh unique uh devices which you know keep us uh, safe okay all right, so we have uh, three uh, different uh, brands of uh, contactors here. And you know, each one use a different interlock. That's why I've used uh, three of them. So uh, an interlock, it's a mechanical mechanism, okay, which will allow one contactor to engage. So if you look at this interlock here, okay, so it has two levers here, okay, which moves okay which moves you can move one at a time but you cannot move both now for instance you see both of them are up both of them if you look both of them are up but if one has to go down the other can't so you see if i pull one down i cannot push the other okay so one at a time so same thing with this abb also will do the same thing all right so uh you push one at a time okay so different contactors this is rovato uh you have this type so you see this one you're able to pull out this white lever but you cannot you know pull the other one unless you push this back then you can remove this one okay so when you have one inside, you can easily, uh, you know, uh, push this back and forth, but you cannot do both, okay? You can't do both. So that's the whole purpose of interlocking, all right? So let us uh, see, eh? let us uh, demonstrate this. If we've interlocked a contactor, okay? Okay. So imagine you have these two contactors online 
uh, probably you have uh, maybe a change over automatic change over switch or uh, a forward and reverse and you're using these contactors which are not interlocked probably you're using uh, an electrical interlock okay so electrical interlock may fail all right so let's see so imagine look so this contactor has engaged but if for some reason anything happens this goes inside or if let's say if one contactor was stuck for some reason and then the second contactor energizes okay so about that the second contactor energizes so that means that will be a disaster so let us hook uh, this interlock here we see you know uh, how it can help us to avoid such kind of mess okay all right so i will hook this uh so you make sure all of these are inside if you have you know if you come across this kind of contactor so enter one side first okay like that then we push this one in inside uh, still and then we push that one inside then we can put this like that so this one has got uh, a lock because if you don't lock it it will be wobbling okay so let us push in this inside so now it's firm so if we energize one contactor as you've seen meaning this contactor cannot uh engage but let's say for some reason uh probably this contact here got stuck okay maybe this is a forward and reverse so the forward contactor is stuck inside but you have started uh you know the forward contact so if i put in here see So you see that? All right. So that, that, that's what will happen because because you have energized your coil, okay? You have energized the coil. This coil is trying uh, to pull uh, the armature. You know that is on spring loaded, so it's, it's trying to use its energy to pull. But because of that resistance, that's why you hear that noise, and that can burn the coil. So instead of having a disaster in your circuit in your installation a coil will burn okay a coil will burn you either change a coil by a contactor but this guy will have saved you so that's the whole purpose of uh, using uh using a mechanical uh interlock okay so that's the whole purpose of using a uh, mechanical interlock so they are very uh vital so you you'll find different types different brands and different types of mechanical uh in, interlock okay so it depends uh which one you go with so we have let's try to hook this up okay so the first thing you have to make sure they are you know they are in the same position so any o any o so make sure they are in the same orientation okay just like that so here this is contact is abb all right so you just make uh you have this look at you have this lot here and you have this uh, groove here okay then you have these two which will be slotting in here uh in these two slots and also you have this one here so you have to just make sure that those two hook up in those slots okay and it snaps okay so that's it so also you get the second one okay you make sure you do just as we did the first one like that and it enters so this is very firm so if you push this inside 
this will be hard. Okay, the reverse is also uh, true. Then uh, we have this type here. This is quite big. This is where we use this kind. And this one has a support because, you know, the contactors, uh, the, uh, the jaws are up. So you need something to lift up the interlock, okay, like this. So this will appear like this, all right? All right, so the first thing you make sure that they're in the same orientation. Here we have two. You take note of that, okay? So we'll just grab our interlock, we'll enter it here, uh, okay? Like that. Then you bring the second contactor. You do the same thing, okay? Like that. So we can put it upside down. And then we slot in this. This one has got some screws which can make it firm, okay? So you can look at that, okay? So same thing, this one also goes inside, you cannot push the other, okay? So basically that's how a uh, mechanical interlock uh, work, okay? Uh, in most cases, if you do a circuit, you only have electrical interlock. I've seen in a situation where uh, those uh, electrical interlock, I'll show you one. Uh, like this one, uh, this is for this contactor, okay? So uh, uh, I've seen in the situation where these interlocks, uh, they stack, okay, in the same position. So it's quite very easy that to happen, all right? So if it's stuck in a closed position, uh, then that will be, uh, you know, a, a, a problem oh so that's why you must add the mechanical uh, interlock so thank you very much for watching i hope uh, this video has been helpful or is helpful to you so please consider yourself um you know subscribing to to the channel so i thank you uh very much until next time i'm out